Hey there, everyone. How's things going on your end? I hope you're all still doing great and enjoying your time while working with the WP Media Folder plugin. Because today, I've got something really interesting to share with all of you, a feature tucked away within the media folder that's definitely worth talking about. So, picture this, have you ever thought about exporting all the media library, or part of it, from one WordPress website to another? It could be pretty handful to reuse some media, or just in case of a migration, or just for backup. Well, the feature I'm about to dive into in this video is a game changer for just that. We'll see how to export your entire WordPress media library or part of it, some media folders, and then how to run a media import. We'll also explore the other options that are the direct upload of local folders and subfolders in the media library. Finally, we'll make a quick import of post categories import as media folders. Let's start the first sequence with the export part. All right, let's delve into the exporting process and explore the range of options available to you. When it comes to exporting, you've got a few choices to make. The first option lets you export all the content, including both media files and folders. The second one focuses solely on exporting the folder structure. If you opt for either of these first two options, your WordPress content will be bundled up in an XML file, just like what you're seeing here. And the great thing? You can open up this XML file using any browser or text editor you prefer, and it will display the structure and content within. This file will be the file you can re-import later on another website. The third option now, here's where it gets interesting. This is about exporting a specific folder, things take a slightly different turn. In this case, the exporter will whip up a custom XML file for you. And inside that XML file here, you'll find a variety of different content elements. The most import part is that it contains the full link to media files that you can re-import later. It's all about tailoring the export to your specific needs. After the export, let's see how the import is done. All right, let's take a look at my media library as it stands before I dive into importing some new media or folder structures. And now, let's roll up our sleeves and give importing a shot, so we can see the transformation for ourselves. What I've got here is an XML file that I've prepared. This file is packed with folders and media, and I'm all set to import it into my WordPress using this import feature. The process is quite straightforward, I simply choose the file I want to bring in, give that import button a click, and just like that, the gears start turning. You'll be able to spot the changes once the process wraps up. So, let's swing back to the media library. When I first peeped in here, this folder wasn't hanging around. But now, after the import, voila! The folder's right here. That's how we know the import was a hit, and the content from the imported file is now all visible through my plugin. And of course, that's just a small import, but it supports very large media library migration. Now, I wanted to show you not a real export import feature, but a very handy folder upload feature. WP Media Folder plugin can also upload entire local folders and subfolders with their media. Here, in my WordPress media library, I have a button on top called Upload Folder. Basically, with this button you can pick up a folder from your computer and upload all folders and media it contains. For example, here, I'm selecting a folder that contains media and a subfolder with other images in it, validating the pop-up message that prevents from importing a wrong folder, and it's done. See I have all my media and folders here, that was a quick import, right? To finish with the import feature of WP Media Folder plugin, I wanted to mention that from the settings, here in Import, Export, Other Plugins. If you have another plugin that uses Media Folder, you can directly migrate the data. It could be, for example, Real Media Library plugin. Now let's conclude this plugin feature presentation with prices and integrations. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the third party integrations that the plugin has. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. 
This plugin is available at $49 with all the features we've just tested in this video. All the cloud integrations and gallery features will require the $69 membership. And that's for an unlimited number of websites, no domain limitation, no support limitation. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.